Hi there. I wasn't intending to do a follow-up to the Lay the Field at Odds of Three video I released the other day. It just so happens I happen to be using that to create a video to illustrate something else. Uh, but the way things have been going, I uh, may well have a wee chat about that in any case. However, on to the, the main topic. If you're anything like me, uh, continually thinking of ways to tackle various markets, and then you automate that idea. One of the things I do, certainly in the early stages, having created the automation, is I leave it in its rawest form uh, and uh, keep an eye on the markets to have a, an idea or to get an idea of what sort of level of green up is possible. Uh, essentially what I'm trying to do there is to first of all see if it's going to be a regular thing for that strategy to get into a green up position. But what I want to do is establish what would be a consistent and reliable green up position to take. Now there's two ways of doing that in actual fact. You can either set up your automation, uh, as I say, in its rawest form, and then park yourself in front of your computer and keep an eye on the green up button. Alternatively, you can automate that process. And that's what I've been doing uh, this afternoon for the purposes of this video. If I switch to the automation tab, uh, you'll see I'm using the, the, the basic lay the field at three strategy that I showed you the other day. Uh, but what I want to do is draw your attention to these rules here. What I've done is set up rules that simply monitor the green up position in increments of £10. They are dummy rules, they don't do anything. All they do is wait to see if the conditions are met for each of their uh, green up positions. And that rule would then be effectively executed. And so essentially what we do is we look down the list to see which ones have been executed and that would tell us the green up positions. Now you can see one, it has actually reached uh, £90. Uh, and I'll just switch to the next race. Let me switch back to that one. Um, and in this particular case, the lay the field at three, as described to you the other day, was a successful one. Uh, so as you'd expect, all these rules have triggered. But that isn't necessarily all the case. But in, in the best of Blue Peter traditions, let's just quickly look at some other races. Now, I've got a number of races where there's been winners. So as you would expect, every single one of these rules has triggered. So let me look at some of the uh, losing races. So here you'll see this race, uh, we've lost 50 quid as per the L2 effort 3 technique I've been looking at. Uh, but you'll see here none of the rules filed. Uh, let me have a look at some of the other losers again. None of the rules filed. So at no point throughout this race was there a green up position. Let's have a look at some of the other ones. This one here. Um, there was actually quite a lot of runners matched. There was a couple of partial matches uh, and of course the rule, the rules for the LTF at three, it needs two fully matched lays before everything else gets cancelled. So that's why there's actually only a loss of six pounds here because of all the, the runners that got matched. Uh, and you'll see there was a green up position up to 30 pounds there. But scanning through a lot of these, again, another race where there's no green up position found. This one we managed to hit 40. And I'll just scan through another couple of these. Again, another race where there's none. Another race where there's none. So, just with the initial look at this particular strategy itself, that would indicate, having done 21 closed markets at the moment, that would start to indicate that perhaps this strategy doesn't lend itself to greening out at any stage. It's really a case of 
you're in it win or lose a bit like dobbing in fact uh, you either win your stake back or you lose it in this case you either win 50 uh, win 98 quid after commission or you lose 50 pounds um, and that's certainly what I'm angling at at the moment so here's a strategy I've been using it incorporates the lay the field at three simply to actually set up the uh, set up the trades for me whilst I was checking and letting you see this idea in video form if you go to Dropbox you'll be able to find this file demo monitor green up PL which consists of all the green up positions so it's minus these three rules here all you need to do to incorporate that into your own strategies is copy and paste these into those strategies and that will allow you or allow the automation to monitor the green up position over a period of time and allow you to assess whether that strategy you are developing is uh, viable for consistent green ups at a consistent level so you'll find it as i say on dropbox it's called demo monitor green up p l and finally i might as well do a summary uh, of the unofficial follow-up to the lay the field at three uh, so as you see we've got 33 closed markets and a profit of 381 pounds from this afternoon so quite happy with that um, still needs further testing of course uh, but uh, at least that gives you a better demonstration perhaps than the original uh, video I showed you the other day where unfortunately we didn't get any winners um, so as you can see pretty reasonable we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 green races there uh, so just a little under 50% uh, of the races found a nice screen for us so give it a bash see how you get on and in the meantime i'll catch you in the next one thanks guys